I was brought up a farm girl, and as I grew older, I knew that I wanted to be a farmer and nothing else, so I was only interested in dating someone who was going to grow up to be a successful farmer. And I did good. I did real good. We've created a really wonderful life together, Sharon and I. Uh, my upbringing is just north of here in the uh, village of Auburndale dairy farm as well. And uh, little by little, we gravitated towards a fitness passion. Riding a bicycle has always been, as a child, your freedom. The only thing I wanted to do was to fly on my own power. I built wings out of cardboard and glued duck and chicken feathers to them and would jump out of a fork of a tree and flap my big wings. And what I've learned is road biking is the closest to flying on one's own power that you can do. So I can now fly. Considerably safer as well. <laughs> yeah, I probably have had less broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> When I was 46 years old, my rheumatologist had told my husband to go buy a wheelchair because I was done walking because my hips were froze up. That was kind of the beginning of my changing of my life. I said, no, wait a minute here. I'm not ready to give up on life yet. I'm gonna change this. And at this point, I'm pretty sure that 99% of the people that bike race with me have no clue the struggle that I have interior to get out and do this. But I know that when I do it, I am going to be so much better for it. People come to cycling for different reasons. Um, I come at it from a physical health, mental health standpoint, um, and because it just makes me happy being out on the bike. That is one of the things that I really enjoyed the most about this community and about this bike shop, is just having that community of people that I share that love of cycling with. So we're in the sports den and um, I've been coming to the shop ever since I've lived in Marshfield and it's been the hub of the cycling activity for the community for many, many years. So I've gotten all my equipment here, I've had my bikes repaired here, um, I ordered my dream bike through here that I got a few years ago and um, you know, the, the, they just are super helpful and, and it's just a great shop and a great group of people to work with. It is a wonderful thing to be able to share what you love with others. That has been one of the best things that I've gotten to do is to be able to share what I truly am passionate about and then to promote cycling, get more kids. I mean, the whole motto of NICA is get more kids on bikes. This is an amazing place. There's not a lot of great hills and not a lot of great public property with vertical on it. And so um, I thought, this is an amazing place to build mountain bike trails. So I contacted Chad Schooley, who's the head of the Wood County Parks Department. What do you think about building mountain bike trails out here? And so he had told me about the 230 acres on the north side of the property that the county had um, purchased. And then they were able to achieve a grant in order to uh, have Rock Solid come out and build professional level trails at the bluff. So, so far, I see a lot of people out using the trails. I mean, word has gotten out, there's been no official advertising, but the, there are people out there using the trails all year round. Um, I, the um, fat biking in the wintertime, snowshoeing on the single track trails, and then I know that they have plans for groomed um, cross-country ski trails, so it's, I've seen people using it all year long, and you know, the word has gotten out among the community about about these trails and I continue to spread the word and tell people, oh hey, do you know about these great trails that are located just outside of town that you can go and access. The road biking around here is amazing. There's so many nice paved roads, the traffic is low, the people that um, are on the roads are really courteous and it's, it's like, for me, it's, it's one of the best places to ride that I've ever been. The trail system here in Marshfield um, is great and there are, there's a group called Friends of the Trails that are continually working on improving trail syst the trail system and trail access. But we have a long ways to go and want to make this a very bike friendly community and city. I feel like it is my job to try to work toward making my community a better place to live. I love living here. I want other people to enjoy living here and to enjoy the benefits that come with uh, not only living in Marshfield, but also having a better cycling infrastructure for them and their kids.
as bike racers, and now as race directors of a bike race, we have an intimate knowledge of what the racers want and expect and should have. In a time trial 10 years ago or so, when Sharon came out and said, we, we want you, we want your points. And I'm like, who is this lady? And what's her deal? And got to meet them. And basically they kind of took me by the hand and really got me going into biking. And couldn't have better people to promote a sport. They go all over the state promoting their race. Um, you know, and just do a tremendous job. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of the people that cycle around here cycle because of they got them involved in it. And I couldn't couldn't say better things about. It. One of the attractions of the race is the design where you finish at the top of this climb. Okay, you race for 48 miles, and then you have to finish at the top. The unique thing about Bluff to Bluff is it's not a true sprint finish because it's such a big climb at the end. A lot of races you'll, you could have 5, 10, 20 bikes going across the line basically close to the same time. And here you usually don't. A lot of times at the finish a lot of bad things can happen, but they, they don't happen here because you're not all grouped together. Well, the, I guess I'm gonna, the biggest thing about being, having the race here is we're home in 10 minutes. <laughs> Instead of a lot of races, we have to drive way up north or way down south, so it's nice to have a race right in your backyard. And you know, it's like the Packers playing a home game, is what it amounts to. I've lived here a long time. It's, it's just a very, very nice community event, um, and it's close, close, and you got a beautiful area to do it in. Um, Ralph and Sharon, uh, among other people, do a wonderful job. I think the race is, is tremendous for the Marshfield and Wood County area, and it really promotes the Powers Bluff area, which is a beautiful, beautiful park.